Hi all, welcome to this Network Forensics Sandbox Lab tutorial. Um, today what I'm going to do is we're going to set up a Network Forensics Sandbox virtual lab on your host machine. So whether that's Windows, Mac OS X or Linux, we're going to set up this virtual lab. Um, we're going to walk through the process, so as you can see here on my screen, we're going to do a number of steps today. We're going to download and install VirtualBox, so this is a virtualization platform. We're then going to download Kali Linux, okay, and we're in particular going to install the VirtualBox image of that operating system. We're then going to download Metasploitable 2, and we're essentially then going to go on to step 4, where we're going to download a Windows 10 Enterprise and it, this is an evaluation copy of Windows 10. And um, finally, you can do optional extras in this um, virtual lab. So if you want to install Ubuntu servers or Windows server, maybe 2012 or 2016, you could expand this virtual lab. So what's really important to state here, guys, is that these labs will focus on tasks from a white hacker's perspective. So an ethical computer hacker perspective. And it's really important to state that we want to utilize these widely available tools and techniques um, for good intentions. So we're looking at it from a white hacker's perspective. Um, it is important to understand how attackers think and what methods they use. But remember, please only use these tools that we go on to use in the future if you have written permission. So again, why we're setting up these tools in a virtual lab is just to be used in this sandboxed virtual setup. Okay, so let's just have a quick look then guys at our first step here, downloading VirtualBox. So VirtualBox is our virtualization product and a lot of you will have the latest or you'll have a version of VirtualBox. What I always say is it's always good to kind of check in and grab the latest version of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy out that link. I'm going to pop this over here for a moment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially go to that link. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download I'm using Mac OS X here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download um, the, so let's go to the download section and I'm going to go to OS X hosts and you can see the latest version um, in fact here is 6.1 so what I'm doing there guys is very quickly I've just download, downloaded that uh, latest version of VirtualBox and I'm going to install that as we speak now to make sure that I'm using the most up-to-date virtualization product okay this is free um, so that's why I like to use a uh, virtual box. So there's no cost and again, this works for both for example um, Windows and OS X and if you're using Linux So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over onto my screen so you can see it So essentially, I'm just going to double click on this to install it and What I will be able to do then is once that's installed I should be able to run it from my applications folder so we'll give that a second to install and um, I'll need to continue and we can see that I've got virtual machines running. So that's the end of this intro to the Network Forensic Sandbox Lab. What we're going to do over the next number of video clips is we're going to install VirtualBox. We're going to ensure that we get Kali Linux, the virtual machine image for VirtualBox. We're going to download and install Metasploitable 2 and we're also going to download Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. And what we're going to do is we're going to get all of those VMs talking to one another, guys. So I really hope you're going to jo uh, join me for the next number of video clips coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.